In this video, I am going to be winning a game of Fortnite without dealing a single bit of damage or getting a single kill. Things get very intense and it's a whole lot of fun, so if you're interested in that, make sure you stay tuned until the end. First off, I had to pick a landing spot. I didn't want to go too much of a hot drop, but I com also completely forgot what challenge I was doing, so I decided to go Holly Hedges. Secondly, I had to run from this guy at the greenhouse because I didn't want to increase my chances of dying and ruining the entire thing. Then, after searching for shield, I found a mini and a big, which would both set me to 200 health and give me a way better chance at surviving. After that, I came over to the sand area to get me some crystals, and pretty fun fact here, if you guys put down a cone over top of the crystal, you'll break it into all these different shards, just so you know. Then, after searching for mats and doing the exact same thing as before, the gods must have been smiling on me because I found a llama! So that was definitely going to help me with some mats and heals. That llama gave me a golden tack, but I already had a purple scar, so I decided to bury the scar in this wooden box. Then I found some guy at this gas station, so I decided to build against him and then crouch spam with my pickaxe so he wouldn't try and kill me. Then he accepted me as his partner, so I decided to leave before Epic banned me. While rotating the zone, I seen this guy at Lazy Lake, but I decided to ignore him and run away because I'm not allowed to kill anybody in this challenge. Then I moved up to this mountaintop and boxed up with this NPC, hoping that I would get center zone and nobody would come and kill me. After camping in this box for an unbearably long amount of time, I noticed that an enemy tried to push above me and take me out, so I tried to make alliance with him by emoting, and things sort of worked out, but then after a couple minutes he just got bored and tried to kill me. Then the two of us got third partied, but unfortunately the person I was originally fighting was good enough to take out the other person within a matter of seconds, so I found this is the perfect time to bouncer shockwave the hell out of there. Then, after running out of harm's way, I dropped down the side of this mountain so I can get away from those people, and even though it was on low ground, I still felt like it was the best place to be. Then I based up and waited for zone to push them out so I can get it to a 1v1 situation and win the heal off. And that, not to my surprise, worked really well until the zone pushed the enemies too close to me and they were looking for a fight. So once again, I used a dance tactic and I made alliances with them. Once the zone pushed the enemy meters from my box, he just started spraying at me and trying to take me out. Moving forward, everything went quite smoothly until this guy decided to drop down and shoot up my wall for the third time. To solve that problem, I just moved out of my box and made a new one. That worked until the zone was really, really small and the two people above me were forced to fight. It was then down to a 1v1 situation and I was going to play the heal off. Here we are in the end of the game, and I actually popped my med kit a little bit too early, but I was still able to get to half health, fill back up, and start popping the bandages. Even though I should have been popping the chug splashes, I was still able to pop the final bandage with 5 health left, and that is when the enemy died, and I was able to get the win and complete the Valentine's Day. Sorry this was such a short video, I feel like if I didn't cut straight to the point, then you guys would have ended up leaving. And plus, this game actually took one attempt. This was my very first game, so there was no way I could have fit failed games into this video and make it longer. But if you guys have any more content ideas, feel free to drop them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, and if this is your first time seeing one of my awesome videos, then make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications. Also, if you guys are interested in checking out my Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat, the three of them will be linked in the description down below. Thank you all, and I will see you guys in the next video.